guys this is ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 55 and today's topic will be how to generate multiple tables within same pdf page using report lab so in the last tutorial we have seen how to create uh, nested frames and before that in the tutorial 53 we have seen how to create multiple frames so in this topic we are going to talk about how to create now let me go to the next slide how to create multiple tables uh, within a same page using frame so for example this table will be placed within a frame and this table also will be placed within a frame and inside that frame you need to create one table and inside that frame you need to create one so now you understand why i did the tutorial on creating multiple frames so if you do not know how to create multiple frames then if i do this tutorial it will be difficult so i i actually divided the tutorial into three parts how to create multiple frames and after that how to create nested frames and now i'll uh, do this thing like how to uh, create table inside that frame okay so let me quickly uh, go to my id so before going that uh, let me write this thing tuto tutorial 54 okay and after that how to generate multiple tables in same pdf page okay so first thing first uh, before before doing that we'll uh, uh, import all the necessary libraries so from report lab dot pdf gen import canvas okay next thing is platypus from report lab dot platypus import paragraph we need table we need table style as well okay and we need some colors as well okay and we need some style okay uh, leap dot styles okay and after that let me create one canvas object okay so this is going to be canvas dot canvas so this is tutorial 55 i believe yes i have given the wrong name so let me tutorial 55 dot pdf okay so what i'll do i'll try to create uh, this structure only okay so two tables with uh, four rows and four columns so what i'll do uh, first we'll create one uh, blank flowable object like this okay and let me some t1 before that let me define some styles equals to get sample style sheet okay t1 is going to be paragraph and inside that light table one okay and after that style equals to styles and this will be normal so uh, if someone is not able to understand what i am doing over here so i'll highly recommend you guys to please go and watch the other videos like uh, this is actually complete uh, series more than 54 videos are already uploaded so you can start watching from the beginning if you do not follow our channel uh, earlier no problem but to understand this thing this is actually going to be very advanced and more or less uh, uh you real world examples so it will be uh definitely helpful if you watch the other videos okay so in that video i uh, actually explain why i did this thing okay then uh it is done then what we'll do so flow underscore obj dot append t1 and now we'll create the table one so only one table is fine t is going to be uh, for example table okay and we'll put the data so it's going to be one two three four we can use some automation as well but that is not the requirement here 
four one two three four five six seven eight we can use some pi arrays as well uh nine ten eleven twelve i believe uh, this is what we are expecting one two three four okay uh, four so this is going to be one more okay and this is going to be 13 14 15 and 16 and after that what will happen uh, like this so I'll just keep this thing open for maybe uh, uh, 30 seconds because I'm also doing a live training so if someone is uh, taking uh, uh, the same code in their ID and doing it so it will be easier for them so I'm just keeping this open for 30 seconds and after that we'll start again okay Okay, so this is done, the data part is done, then we'll do some sort of styling, so TS is going to be, let's do table style, and after that this, we'll, we'll use initially the grid one, so grid, then it will start from the starting, and this is going to be the complete thing like minus one minus one why this is minus one zero zero means first column first row and minus one minus one mean from the reverse side last column and last row you all know right the size is two and it will be let give a color of colors dot red okay mm, after that we can use a background as well so what i'll do I'll take a copy paste of this thing so let it be like G R O U N D background 00 and this will be only uh, color so this is going to be it is yellow okay the style is done so we'll append this style or set this style so T dot set style and we'll put this style over here T S okay so our table is done so what i'll do now i'll append this thing with this flowable object so first one is t1 so what i'll do i'll just create one more object okay and do it so before doing that uh, we need to create a frame inside that frame we need to put our table so let's create the first frame so frame is going to be uh, we did actually put our frame here so this is the frame okay frame okay so frame means it will uh, let's let it start from i'm just thinking how where it will start mm. let's start from uh, 20 from the top it will be let's say 150 let's say 100 and 200 and we'll make it show boundary equals to 1 and after that frame dot add from add from list so first will be flowable object and this is going to be pdf but our flowable object is only contain this thing but we forgot to uh, uh, append the table so table is can put over here so t so if i run this thing we'll get a table okay so what i'll do i'll just check this thing that inside that frame we got the table or not okay so let's run this thing first it's completed so we'll get one uh, file 55 tutorial 55.pdf and inside that there will be a frame and inside that there will be 4 by 4 table and the background will be yellow and the grid will be red 
see we got our table see now we have to replicate the same thing here okay so we got nice looking million dollar table okay so what we have to do we have to just create the same thing again and again so either you can do it using uh, some sort of looping or some sort of functions but our main objective is not that we need to understand the uh, the techniques of creating the table so you guys can take this as a homework that how to uh how to do it using uh using some loop or for loop or some methods what i'll do i will uh i will um uh, this part is going to be same so you need to create one more frame okay so that is the main part over here and and and, and let me just create one more frame so okay and it will start from 20 it will go 20 so let it be like 130 150 120 is fine okay uh, flowable object now we need to add the flowable object again here but this time flowable object the t but this time we'll use some other text okay so what will happen now uh, so table two okay so this this is for the first table and this is for the second table so see i'm just replicating this thing copy and paste this is not the right way of doing it but just to make you guys understand how to create the multiple tables i'm doing it but you can do it using some sort of for loop or some sort of function then need to pass this dimension as a list and the text value as a string okay we already discussed this in our last tutorial see we got this thing so you now understand like this is very simple now what will happen i need to only the copy paste this thing so when you are going to use loop so now you understand you have to only consider this part only that's it so every time you have to change the table name or you can pass the table name as a string value and you need to change this dimension so now what will happen it starts from 20 and it will go until 100 so it will capture uh, the uh, in this direction it will capture until 120 so i just start with 130 so now it came until 100 position from here so it is 230 so what i have to do i have to write here 240 remaining things are going to be same only i need to change table 3 that's it simple so what will happen now if i run this thing see i get the same dimension same uh, layer table everything is same so this is the ultimate thing like you have to understand okay so main or the gist part of this tutorial is that if you want to create multiple components inside a multiple component or you, you want to create multiple frames nested frames or you want to create multiple tables within frame then only things you have to understand the dimension or the position of your element if you know the position you know the techniques you can do it see the whole part is actually very much uh, uh, depending on this part okay the whole 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 tutorial is actually depending on this part if you know how to sizing or positioning your elements then you would go then actually we're good to go right see it start from 20 it go 100 so i just put it 130 here so next element will be definitely 100 plus 130 then it will place will be placed in the left hand side so i just keep it 240 but from length wise it is always same right because it will be in the same height so i didn't change this part i only change this direction x x axis direction okay so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial but uh, what i'll do let me check if i am able to uh, copy paste this thing but i'm not sure whether i'll be able to do it or not so let me try thing let me try here okay so picture file okay so this is done but not sure but not everything came actually this is 
let me check not everything came actually so probably I can do this thing okay so it is not the right way of doing this thing rather I can uh, just uh, let me just check let me what I'll do I'll just take a copy paste of this thing new slide Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just make it a bit smaller, let's say 10. Okay. And I'll change the color from no color to probably I can make it black. Yeah, looks nice now. Maybe, I'm not sure. You guys have to give me the feedback. I can make it 12 yeah it looks nice so I have uh, pasted the whole code but don't worry guys I'll upload the source code as a separate github repository uh, file and I'll upload and then I will I'll share the link okay so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and uh, please feel free to give me feedback because uh, I think most of the like requirements are covered now so we can uh, start actually working on our use cases and again i request you guys uh, many times that uh, you guys should send me some of the uh, template or some of the reporting structure which you want to uh, in which you want me to include in our uh, example uh, use cases so i have only got few uh, requests so i need more and if you don't want to uh, like uh, uh, don't want to uh, uh, like uh, don't want me to use your example then fine then I will take my examples and do it but it is the right way uh, that I should ask you guys so it will be easier to understand me as well that what are the different projects or the diff different application you guys are working so that's it uh, we are going to start the actual uh, uh, like uh, sample use cases from the next tutorial onwards so i'll highly recommend you guys to go and watch all the tutorials try to do some practice or else it will be very difficult because in that time i'm not going to explain or actually will not be able to get that much time to explain each and every line so we'll directly uh, have the sample template and from the temp sample template we'll try to derive our code and from the code we'll get the output so all our uh, time will be uh, spent on uh, designing the structure we'll not going to explain the uh, uh, pdf report lab components okay so that is why i'm asking you guys to do some sort of practice so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video but before ending this tutorial please feel free to send me uh, feedback uh, suggestion or if you have any doubts you can also reach me out if you want me to include some other tutorial please feel free to write me and thank you very much for all the udemy students i actually want to uh, thanks to all of you everyone personally uh, it is actually helping me a lot thanks for purchasing my course you guys are motivation and because of you guys are actually I'm trying to create uh, some good and quality contents every day and I'll try to uh, like up my quality um, throughout this uh, year as well so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day happy learning